everybody today I'm gonna do a review on my Kimi gouache set I have had this for a while now and I have used it a little bit but not a lot as you will see the paints are still pretty full except the white <laughs> that's all gone <laughs> you can tell which ones are my favorite colors because the rest are hardly touched but some of them are mostly gone <clears throat> i haven't opened this for six or seven months now and they are still wet which is quite shocking i thought they all be dry look at this that is fantastic I used to have the old set which was smaller the mint one and that dried up very quickly I think they improved the seal like the airtight seal with this one because this one has lasted a long time and it's still not dry Okay guys, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover from here on out just because the audio on the video just gets really bad. Um, I think it's because I was pushing the mic away from me as I was painting. So I could make room to move around but I didn't realize how close the mic has to be to my face to actually record my voice. So the, the audio is just unusable. So I'm gonna summarize for you what I was saying in the video. I started out uh, by just swatching all the paints and this is a very good way to just fill a sketchbook page or if you are if you don't know what to draw it's also a good way to just get you started get you uh, getting the paint out and just doing a little page it always motivates me to carry on and do another one and do another one and um, also I did wanted to check them make sure all the colors were usable so make sure none of them were dry and if they were it's very easy to activate these paints again you just add a water and just stir it a little bit and then it's good as new so I wanted to make sure all of them were all good which what they were fine which is very weird to me because I haven't used this uh, set in such a long time just been sitting in my drawer and I don't know I don't know why I guess the seal on it as I said must be very good because the last set I had did dry up I didn't mind it drying up it's just long sometimes um, because this is supposed to be um, easy way of painting so you just get it out and paint instead of like squeezing the little tube paints out and like cleaning up after blah 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 which is just long so this is supposed to be an easy way of painting so you just get it out and paint but if the paint is dry and you have to reactivate it add water stir it for like <laughs> two minutes it's just inconvenient but this set has long lasted a long time which i'm very surprised about i'm very happy about so i hope it stays wet and i get to use it until it finishes like this um the drawings you see I'm, I'm doing I found these uh, I had no idea what to draw basically I'm, I'm very new at gouache or painting I'm mostly pen and pencil <laughs> which I'm good at but with paints I'm basically a new so I didn't know what to draw especially with gouache because it's, it's not very blendable you just put it down like a solid color well, this is what I've seen people do they just put a solid color on and then they put it on the solid color on top so I didn't know what to draw I wanted something simple and easy that I could just um, just put a one solid color down that I don't have to blend and stuff so I found these pictures on Pinterest um, I can't find the name of the artist on there's this is on Pinterest is horrible trying to find whose art is this so if you do know who the artist is please tag them below because i want to give them credit um this is just a sketch also i'm not gonna be selling this uh, it's just uh, practicing and learning the 
have to use gouache so <laughs> it's a it's very close to the reference that's why i'm saying this i don't want you to think i'm stealing someone's art i'm just trying to learn um so this uh bunny rabbit and the mushrooms i thought it's just adorable i drew it a bit small though so i think um it was very hard to see and it didn't come out as good as I wanted to but I do like the lemons really like the yellow in the lemon it was, it was a bit like a neon yellow which is just so satisfying to look at um, okay back to the uh, paints um, you might be asking why I'm doing a review now why I'm doing a review at anyway because I'm I'm not a professional gouache artist, but um, first of all, I did a little video when I first got it, but <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing and the video turned out so bad that I just couldn't post it. So I've been using it a bit more now. I'm still shit at it, but uh, I kind of understand it more, I think. And I've been seeing a lot of reviews and like um, people using this Hemi set and saying such mean stuff about it that I don't understand what they don't get about this paint. It's supposed to be for beginners, it's supposed to be like this, it's supposed to be uh, people saying, ah, oh, my colors are getting mixed up, ah, oh. <laughs> the paint is drying. Obviously, it's not a professional gouache set. So it's not going to be um, that much good quality that people are expecting out of these paints. Which I think that's why all the bad reviews are coming out. I myself as a new, um, uh, new gouache learner, I don't know what, what do I call myself. A person who's learning to use the media. I love this paint because it's cheap it's easy uh, to get out and just use and none of my colors have gone mixed up i don't understand how people are getting their um, like their blacks in their whites like if your brush has black paint on it don't stick it in the white what are you doing <laughs> come on use your brain people it has a, like a little tray just get the paint put it on the tray and then mix it in <laughs> mix it on the tray not on the brush um yeah that's uh i know uh i have no place of doing this review i just wanted to do a sketchbook page and i just wanted to share my thoughts on the paint which i think it's amazing people come on give it a break <laughs> Give the paint a break, people. It's good. <laughs> it it works. It does its job. <laughs> okay. Um, also, a uh, little thought about the sketchbook page I did. Uh, looking back at it, I think I mixed too much water with the paint. So it's a bit watercolory, I think, and not enough gouache. Like... Do you know what I mean? Like, um, maybe I should have done more layers on it. Please tell me, uh, criti criticize me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I would love to learn this media and get better at it. Um, but uh, I think I used too much water. I uh, should have used more paint to make it more solid. But this blue I put in the background. I love this. Just makes the whole thing pop so much. And... I'm so glad I did this. Look, look! Amazing. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Complimenting myself. Uh, and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've never done voiceover before. I hope this comes out good. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me uh, if you are good at gouache. What I should be doing to learning this media more. And if you have any ideas on what else I should draw with the gouache, because uh, it's very hard to try and find uh, references or things to draw. Because, I mean, there's loads, but 
they're all so good and they all look so hard i'm i'm just uh <laughs> intimidated by all of them like i don't think i could do this <laughs> i need easier stuff but i i found some uh a lot of fruit ones that i think i want to try next just simple like an orange with a few dots on it or things like that um tell me if you have any other ideas for me to draw and i hope you like this video that's it for now i've uh, i think i've talked enough hopefully <laughs> um thank you all for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe if you want to you don't have to but if you want to it'd be very nice um i will be posting a video every monday uh, i think that's it thank you all for watching um i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you all have a beautiful day bye